Howdy, guys, and welcome to night 45 of Big Brother Season 23's Overnight Feed Recaps. And welcome to Cliff Notes from Outside the House. Okay, we got a little bit more resolution on what's happening right now after we've got the HOH competition completed. We've got the initial nominations made, and we've had the high roller competition. So let's talk about that real quick before we get into the live feeds themselves. First of all, as we saw Thursday night on the live episode, Sarah Beth is the new HOH. She had nominations yesterday, and she put up Derek F. and Claire, exactly the same two people that Kylan put up the week before. They're not working with each other right now. Uh, Derek F. and Claire put up on the block again for a second week. But then we had the high roller competition itself. I- I'm not really sure yet just who all played in this competition. I don't have any clue who received what amounts of money. Eh, there was a little bit of talking, but we don't know for certain. So I'll leave that for another day. So we don't know who played. We don't know how much money uh, people may have gotten. But we do have a winner from that competition. And the winner of the high roller week two competition is Alyssa. Alyssa won the veto last week. Now she has won the uh, the high roller competition this week. She's got a few comp wins all of a sudden, right? Uh, but she did win the competition and she t- chose to take Big D off the block. I- I'm not real sure of the motivation of why she selected Big D as opposed to Claire, uh, but Uh, We do know that Sarah Beth wanted Big D off. So there was a little bit of conversation about whether whether Alyssa listened to Sarah Beth or she just did it on her own. We don't really know for certain, but it doesn't matter. At this point, Big D has been pulled off the block, which means that Alyssa now spins that old roulette wheel to see who goes back on uh, in Big D's place. And the new nominee as chosen by random selection is Xavier. Oh, that it's got to be the worst possible scenario for Alyssa, uh, her tightest person inside the house. She pulls him off and, and Xavier goes right back on the block. So as a result, we now have Xavier versus Claire uh, as nominations, but we still have the veto to be played today. So those nominees aren't set just yet, but we do have, uh, again, Xavier and, uh, and Claire on the block. So we've got that. And again, the competition was was spinning a wheel. If you won the power, then you spun the wheel to, to see who, who went up in the place. So on to the feeds with that being said. And it wasn't a real long, drawn-out night. Most people are just kind of playing it easy, laying low until we know what's happening with the veto competition. So not nearly as much strategy talk as we have in, in normal nights. But we've got a little bit uh, still worth talking about. So first of all, Right after the feeds come back, after the high roller competition, we've got Sarah Beth talking to the cameras. Uh, she she wants to backdoor Derek X. That truly is her, her target this week, is to send him out the door. But she is worried that Derek X, once he knows he's getting backdoored and that it's Sarah Beth's uh, doing, she's worried that he's going to blow up her game. Well, how can he blow up her game? She's worried that he's going to tell Xavier and Alyssa that she knew all about the plans to backdoor Christian uh, well before it actually happened, because she's been saying the whole time that she didn't know it until uh, until Christian was put up as the renomination. She didn't have a clue. Well, she did know. Derek X knows that she knew. And so she's worried that he's going to get back at her uh, by pointing it out to uh, uh, to Alyssa and Xavier if that happens. Her plan if he does that, she's going to deny everything, say, no, Derek X has been trying to make me a target for of everyone for so long. He's making this up. I didn't have a clue. I don't know what he's talking about. He's just lying. No, he's not lying. She knew about it, but she's got a plan if he tries to blow up her game. Uh, we have a conversation with Alyssa talking to Xavier in the bathroom. She she's compl- well, she's upset because she feels responsible that Xavier is now on the block. And Xavier's saying, look, yeah, it is what it is. Xavier just is safe. Uh, he thinks he's safe and he should be safe. So he's not nearly as concerned as Alyssa is, but she's upset about that. She is also very, very irate, very upset at the fact that Derek X approached her and said, did, did Sarah Beth tell you to pull, pull Big D off the block as opposed to Alyssa taking the initiative on her own? And she's not happy with that. Now, remember last week when she won the veto, there's a lot of people saying that Kylan threw the veto to Alyssa, which he did. Uh, and now that she's being accused of, of maybe not using her own mind to, uh, to decide who to pull off, uh, she doesn't like that people aren't giving her much credit for her game. Well, the reality is Kylan did throw it last week. Sarah Beth did mention to her that 
that she wanted Big D pulled off the block. So it's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but she's upset about that. Oh, we've got Derek X uh, talking to Sarah Beth. And he's saying that he only got $75 this week. Remember, he got $100 last week. He's saying he only got $75. We don't know if that's the case or not, but he only got $75. And he's not sure as a result if he'll have enough money to compete for next week's coup de ta power, which is a huge power you get to basically take over HOH from someone else. How would you like to be the HOH and have your power taken away from you? That'd be horrific. Horrible. <coughs> but he's saying he doesn't know if he's got enough money to compete uh, next week. Now, that's telling me. It's suggesting to me that Derek X probably did not compete in the high roller roulette competition this week. And if that's the case, that could be a tragic, bad decision, Derek X. Uh, Last week, Brittany chose not to compete in the competition. She went home. We could see a repeat this week of someone not choosing not to play. And next thing you know, they're out the door before they get a chance to spend their money. But he's saying, yeah, I don't know if I'll even get a chance to play next week. Uh, Derek X is also saying that uh, telling Sarah Beth and look, you can show your loyalty to Claire. If you win veto and you pull her off the block, it's going to be just like last week with Kylan. Uh, so you know, win the veto, pull Claire off and, and she'll be, uh, uh incredibly appreciative that, that you did that. Uh, and so, uh, Sarah Beth is saying, uh, uh, well, actually Sarah Beth is asking Derek X. She's saying, look, if you won veto, would you pull Claire off the block? And he's, I, I hope so. I hope Derek X would do that, protect Claire and himself. Uh, but she's asking if he'd do that. And he says, I don't know. I'd have to talk to her. I'd have to see what Claire has to say. Yeah, I, I don't know if he would or not, but uh, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I hope for a benefit of his game and Claire as he, he would, but who knows in, in this season. All right, we've got Hannah coming to the HOH to listen to music while Sarah Beth and, uh, and Derek X are up there. And she's talking about how much, Sarah Beth saying she's been listening to music all day, how great it is. It is fantastic, guys. When you don't have any music in that house, you get that little iPod shuffle and it's got an album on there. Uh, and so, yeah, everyone wants to listen to the music and, and just go off to another world for a little while. So Hannah is saying how much she, she loves listening to Sarah Beth's music. She's also saying she does not want Kylan to win another HOH because no one, she's saying no one wants Kylan to win another HOH. Uh, because no one likes his music choices. I don't remember what he got as his choice of album, but she said no one likes his music choices, so we don't want him to win another HOH. Well, here's the thing. If you're picking who you want to win HOH based on what kind of music they get in their HOH basket, then you are way too confident inside that house, and you need to be shaken up just a little bit. I never made my determinations on who I was cheering for in an HOH based on what kind of music they had. Oh, I, I don't even want to be hearing that. No, 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 no. That, that's too confident. That's too cocky. That is too arrogant to be making those kind of statements. Uh, we've got Derek X telling Hannah that uh, that Kylan, probably if it comes down to it, he says, look, if, if it's me on the block versus Xavier, I, I think Kylan would prefer to keep me over, over Xavier when it comes right down to it. Well, we already know Derek X and, and uh, Hannah have been talking about maybe gunning for Kylan at some point in time. Uh, Kylan very much is gunning for Derek X. Derek X doesn't get it. He, he, he doesn't understand it. He's thinking he would be safe uh, perhaps if he went up against Xavier. Not so much. Uh, now, Derek X, by this conversation, it's obvious that Derek X is at least aware that a backdoor of himself could be in, in the plan, uh, which it is. Uh, but he he does not understand the house dynamics if he thinks he would be safe if he was up against uh, Xavier in, in the chairs on Thursday night. Hannah is saying, look, you need to win the veto, Derek X. You, you need to win this thing and, and make sure that you don't go up on the block. She knows what's happening. She understands. She knows that Derek X is not safe if he's on the block up against Xavier. So she's trying to... In- suggest to him that without coming right out and, and talking about the cookout alliance and such uh hannah is also saying that if derrick x isn't picked to play in the veto because he's got a three and seven chance there's seven people that can be picked three of them will be selected what's that given 42 percent chance or so she's saying if you don't get picked to play in the veto you better hope that either myself or tiffany get picked and, and that we win this thing now that, that's the question would either one of them use the veto uh, if that was the case. Uh, and if so, then potentially Derek X gets backdoored. Uh, so from Derek X standpoint, he wants Hannah, he wants to get picked and win. Obviously, if that's not the case, 
uh, then let Hannah or Tiffany uh, win, keep the veto, don't use the veto, keep the nominations the same. Would they do that? Hannah perhaps would do that to protect Derek X with the idea that then Claire goes home instead. Tiffany, I do not see Tiffany leaving the vetoes alone as it is and having to choose between Claire and Xavier. So I think Tiffany, if she wins veto, she uses it uh, and, and Derek X's backdoor plan comes, comes into play. Uh, so yeah, he's got like two people, Hannah and, uh, and himself that need to win this veto if he wants to stay safe this week. Otherwise, this could be it for Derek X. And I hate hearing that. All right, but uh, we do have that. Uh, finally, we've got Derek X suggesting that Kylan is his biggest target in the house. That's who he wants to go for. Well, that's probably good because Kylan's going for you. Uh, Sarah Beth, but we might as well say Kylan because he's the one whispering in her ear throughout this week. In fact, there was a little conversation yesterday and I can't remember who Kylan was talking to. Uh, Tiffany, perhaps, I, I don't know that for certain, but Kylan says, look, this is fantastic. When I won HOH, Sarah Beth didn't have anything to do with my selections, my decisions. I controlled my HOH. But now that Sarah Beth has it, I, she's letting me, I'm getting to make all the decisions. I'm involved with their HOH and she's open to it. She's understanding. She's letting me do it. The best of both worlds. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, that's exactly what's happened. Uh, Sarah Beth is very much listening uh, to Kylan's input and, and kind of following along with, with what he is suggesting. suggesting. Uh, so now we've got, uh, Kylan, or we've got Hannah talking to Kylan. Uh, Kylan is saying, look, Derek X is my choice to go. Uh, and, and we know that he's targeting Derek X as a backdoor uh, through Sarah Beth. Uh, but Hannah is saying, she's trying to convince him that, yeah, you know, I get it. And, and she says, if Derek X goes home this week, I'm not going to cry over. Her. I get it. That's part of the, the plan. I, I understand. I'm fine with that. But before you send Derek X out, here's why maybe you ought to consider sending Claire out instead. So Hannah is trying to do what she can to protect her, her partner, Derek X, and, and try to save him for another week. I'm not sure she's got enough influence to actually make it happen, but she's trying to have the conversations to set, the, set it up that maybe Derek X wouldn't go home. I don't think she's, she's going to be able to make that uh, come in, uh, become reality. Uh, and again, she's also saying, but if not, then okay, he goes home. I'm not going to cry over it. Uh, Hannah is also saying, uh, <laughs> all right, this is pretty funny. She's, uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think she's still talking to Hannah, uh, Kylan. Hannah says, look, Derek X picking me as his partner uh, throughout the season shows a real weakness on his part because I haven't done anything in this game. All right, well, she said it, not me. So I, and I couldn't say it any better. I will just leave it at that. But uh, uh, she, she has a little bit of self-observation, self-awareness there. And I, I'm not going to disagree with you, Hannah. All right, and then finally, uh, again, not a whole lot of conversations. The house guests got in bed a little bit earlier than they normally do, which was great for me. Uh, but that, that was about the end of it. Everyone's just ready for the veto competition today. Uh, veto selections, and we'll have the veto competitions by this evening. We're going to know who won veto. And once we know that, then everything's going to have a lot better focus. Again, there's a, there's a very strong chance if Derek X doesn't win this veto, he's going to get backdoored. He's going to be sent out the door, and, uh, and that'll be the end of Derek X. I, I hope that's not the case, but we will know by tomorrow morning. So, guys, y'all have a fantastic Saturday. Enjoy the weekend. I will be back tomorrow morning. We'll talk about the veto winners and what that means for the house for the rest of the week. Cheers, guys. SKD 143. Y'all have a great one. Bye.